Hi guys, this is going to show you how to make this very simple washcloth. The trick to this is the yarn that I used. If you haven't seen this yarn, I had a, a oh, unboxing that I unboxed this yarn. It's a Modell yarn and it's very absorbent. It's great for making garments and also for wash rags and stuff like that. I had, uh, I'll show you again, um, yarn video. I showed how this thing absorbed water so quick and you can put soap on it and it'll lather up really good. And when you wring it out, it is really, uh, it dries really good. I mean, it wrings out the water really good. And so after that, you just kind of hang it on something and, or lay it flat something and it'll dry. Uh, I used this and it worked great. It uh, didn't have as much scrubbing power as my husband likes. He, he likes a really rough uh, loofah that he uses. Uh, but this was great for me. I just uh, I wished it was bigger. So I'm going to be making the one that I, because this was just a sample piece. The piece that I'm making today is going to be a little bigger than this one. And I'm going to be using the other color yarn, which is the brown and the baby blue. Okay, so the ply of this yarn is called uh, three, number three, light, and it recommends using a four millimeter hook or a size six for the U.S. And it's 26% wool and 74% modal. So to begin, you want, for row one, you want a single crochet foundation stitch 41. The multiples of this stitch is eight plus one. So if you want to make it bigger, then you can uh, single crochet foundation stitch and multiples of eight till you reach a desired size. And then do one more for your plus one, and then you'll have the amount of number that you need. If you prefer a chain, then the multiples for you would be eight plus two. And you would want to do um, chain one and turn and do a row of single crochets uh, to get back up to this point so that you can uh, continue with row two of this pattern. So once you've got your stitches, I have 41 single crochet foundation stitches and now I want to chain two and turn. So this will be row two for me. Go ahead and pause the video until you get to this point whether you be chaining a single crochet or a single crochet foundation stitch. And once you have, come back to mark the uh, time of the video and then come back and join me for row two. So for row two, remember you want to chain two and turn. Now we'll be skipping the very first stitch. So this very first stitch of the row is a chain two. So then you'll skip the next stitch and then this third stitch over here you'll want to put your first puff stitch in it. And how you do puff stitches is you'll yarn over, insert your hook into the stitch, pull up a loop, and you want to do that two more times. So yarn over, go into the same stitch, pull up a loop, then yarn over, go into the same stitch, pull up a loop. You have two, four, six, seven loops on your hook. You'll yarn over and pull through all seven loops and then chain one. Now each one of these places that you have puff stitches will have two. So that's our first one. So in the same stitch, you're going to do one more puff stitch. So yarn over, insert your hook in that same stitch and pull up a loop. Then you'll do that two more times. Yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop. Yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop. Seven loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through all seven loops and chain one. So after you've got your puff stitch, sorry I had to get my yarn, it was getting stuck. So before and after a puff stitch, you're always going to have a skipped stitch. So we're going to skip this very next stitch, and in the following stitch you'll put a double crochet. Then again you'll skip the next stitch, and in the following stitch you'll do your next puff stitch. So again yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop. Do that two more times, yarn over, insert into the same stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, insert into the same stitch, pull up a loop. Seven loops on your hook, 
yarn over, pull through all seven loops and chain one. And then do that one more time in that same stitch. Yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop. Yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop. Yarn over. And then make sure when you pull up that loop, you pull it up just a little bit so that it's all even and it's not too tight close to the, the stitch here. So you'll pull it up slightly. And yarn over and pull through all seven loops and chain one. And again, you're going to skip the very next stitch. And in the following stitch, you'll put a double crochet. So between all of your stitches, there's always going to be a skip stitch either side of your double crochets and on either side of your puff stitches. So again, you'll skip the next stitch and in the following stitch, you'll put your next puff stitch, your next two puff stitches. Seven loops, pull through them all and chain one. And you'll do that again. Two, three, yarn over, through, I mean pull through all seven, chain one. Skip the next stitch and then the following one you'll do your double crochet. And then again you'll skip the next stitch and the following stitch you'll put your next puff. And you want to continue that all the way down your row and if you've got the right multiples you should be ending your very last stitch as a double crochet. Okay, I'm just finishing, I'm skipping, skip a stitch, very last stitch of the row, be a double crochet. And that will end row one, or sorry, row two. So for row three, which will be row four if you did the chaining, you'll want to chain one and turn. And in this very first double crochet, you want to put a single crochet into it. This row you'll always put a single crochet in the tops of the double crochet. And in the center, st center stitch of your puff stitches, you'll be putting a single crochet, chain one single crochet. So find that space in between here and do a single crochet, chain one, single crochet. Then move over to your double crochet again and do a single crochet in the top of it. And then you'll move over to the space in between your puffs and do a single crochet, chain one, single crochet. Then move over to your double crochet again and put a single crochet on top of it. Then move over to the space between your puff stitches and do a single crochet, chain one, single crochet. And you'll continue to repeat this all the way down your row. Okay, to end your row, you have this chain three here on the end and you'll want to put a single crochet in this middle chain. And that ends row three. And make sure you count your stitches. You should have 41 stitches total. Okay, I took a moment to count my own stitches because it's really important. The next three rows, you're just going to be putting one single crochet in each stitch. So go ahead and chain one. So rows four through six, or if you're chaining, then it would be rows five through seven. You'll want to put one single crochet in each stitch. And this includes the chain one space here. I'm going in that stitch itself and single crocheting. And then in the next stitch, the next two are kind of big, so it's easy to see. And then you come up to your puff area again. Remember you have single crochet, chain one, single crochet. So you want to make sure that you get the chain one space in between as well as both those single crochets. And then you'll have the single crochet and the double crochet. And then again it'll bring you back up to your three and your puff stitches. So you'll put one in the first single crochet, one in that chain one space, then one in the other single crochet, and then again one in the top of the double crochet. Just going to slowly make your way down. Make sure that you're always getting that chain one space in the middle. When you get done with this row, make sure you count your stitches. You, stu you should still have 41 stitches at the end of this row. 
and if you don't then uh, you missed a stitch somewhere and you should rip it out the next row is going to be super easy because it's going to be nothing but single crochets so this first one is the more difficult one so go ahead and continue putting your single crochets in all of your puff stitches and then chain one turn and then you'll do two more rows of single crochet so you'll have three total rows this one and two more of single crochets and then I will show you how to go back to this puff stitch row so I just want to say real quick that uh, you have you do that row of single crochets and then you do two more so you'll have a total of three rows of single crochets and then uh, for row seven I'm going to show you how to um, turn it back into a puff stitch row so to end after your very last uh, row on uh, row six you'll want to chain two and turn so once you chain two you'll turn chain two will count as your first double crochet of your row so you'll skip the very next stitch and then the following stitch you'll start your puff stitches so yarn over and insert your hook there pull up a loop then you'll do that two more times Pull the wall seven loops and chain one. Then yarn over going back into that same stitch. Pull through all seven loops, chain one. And now again, you want to skip the very next stitch and in the following stitch you'll put a double crochet. Then again you'll skip the next stitch and in the following stitch you'll start your next V puff stitch or whatever you want to call it, heart. It does look like a heart to me. So you put one and then you do another one in the same stitch, chain one. Again, skip the next stitch and then the following stitch you'll put a double crochet. And then you'll continue this all the way down and again you should end your row uh, with a double crochet and then you'll chain one and turn and then you'll do like we did this previous row so you'll want to back up the video if you need uh, extra help but it's only single crochet you'll be single crocheting your double crochets and then the stitches uh, in the between the puff stitches you'll be putting a single crochet chain one single crochet then you'll move over to the double crochet again and put a single crochet and you'll always have the number of stitches that you started off with so if you change it up like for instance this one let me back up this one I did 33 single crochet foundation stitches and this one is I just took it one more because it's multiples of eight so I did a total of 40 plus the plus one unless you're doing chaining so if you want to make one a little smaller like this, you'd want to do a chain of 34. But single crochet foundation stitches, you'll do 33. So it's up to you. It's in multiples of eight. You can make it as wide as you want. You can also go as long as you want. I did mine here for a total of, I believe, 21 rows. And then after my very last uh, puff stitch row, I went ahead and did that single crochet row I just told you about, the one that you do a single crochet and the double crochets, and then between your puff stitches you do your single crochet chain one single crochet I did a row of that and then I did a row of clean uh, single crochets all along the top to kind of make a border but you can uh, stop after you do all your rows of uh, single crochets in between if you like I just wanted to make it uh, look a little bit more like the beginning so and I if it was exactly then I would have stopped after I put my first single crochet row and all this but I really wanted a clean row or you know more straight so I did one more of single crochets after so I ended with two rows of single crochets here but that's it guys this is how you make this very simple uh, washcloth made out of this awesome mold all yarn I, I definitely recommend you check out the links below and get some of this stuff for yourself there's a lot of different colors I just chose a couple that I like but go ahead and uh, find those links down below. Maybe you can get some of this stuff yourself. 
So that's it, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please don't forget to like and share this video. It helps me out so much. Comment down below if you have any questions. Um, you can always find the link to the pattern, the free pattern, in the video's description. If you want to always be notified whenever I release a new tutorial, you can go next to the subscribe button, that little bell button, and click to get all notifications. Also, I have a couple of groups on Facebook. There's a private group called Crochet for the Masses, and then there's a public group called Crochet Zone Public. And you can go there and subscribe, be part of the crochet community there. Also, if you're on Pinterest, I have Melodores Creations Community, free crochet links posted by not just myself, by other designers as well. Also, you can check out my newsletter. I have a newsletter now. If you want to be notified whenever I release something new on my channel or if I have any news uh, on my site or anything, that is the, the number one place to go to at least be updated on what's new happening to the site. So that's it, guys. Uh, thank you so very much for watching. Thank you.